All right. Then we have one cup of self-rising flour. You know, ingredients have, don't have to be 100% exact amount. All right, we'll go with one cup of sugar. And if you want it a little sweeter, you can add a little more. I like mine pretty sweet. And then we have two cups right here of just grated, sharp cheddar cheese. I know when you think of pineapples, you don't think that cheddar cheese is going to go very good with it, but it does. We will take this, and we will put it all right over top of our pineapples. Spread them evenly right over top of it. OK. Next thing we have to do, we're going to take some crackers. We're going to crush these up. And these are like a butter cracker. Usually, a pack or two should do you fine for a casserole. Now, the, we're going to put these all over top of the casserole. All right, we're just about done. The only thing we need to do now is we need to take and melt one cup of butter. That'll be two sticks of butter to get one cup of melted butter. All we do now is we just take this butter and we spoon it all right over top. But you want to make sure that you get it all over everything. Well, let's just face it. The more butter you put in anything, the better it is. Now, the next thing to do is put this in the oven. So between 30 and 45 minutes in a 350 degree oven. And that right there, that's what Christmas is all about. Let's see what we got here. Oh, yeah, I tell you what, I wish you guys could smell what I'm smelling right here. It's smelling some kind of good. Oh, yeah. Mm. It's looking good, too. I tell you what, I just can't wait anymore. I'm ready to dig into this. Oh, yeah. Mm, 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 mm. This thing smells great. Let's just see what it tastes like. Mm. And that right there is a perfect pineapple casserole.